Hey there, it's Marlene Burton. Thank you so much for being here. We are on to day number six of Science of Getting Rich Summary Review. Let's scroll down here and this is really a part that I really like. So, day number six. I must form a clear and definite mental image of the things I wish to have, to do, or become. And I must hold this mental image in my thoughts while being deeply grateful to God that all I desire is granted to me. If I wish to get rich, I must spend my leisure hours in contemplating my vision and in earnest thanksgiving that the reality is being given to me. Too much stress cannot be laid on the importance of frequent contemplation of the mental image coupled with unwavering faith and devout gratitude. This is the process by which the impression is given to God and the creative forces set in motion. And if you really think about this, basically what happens is what we give deep emotion and feeling to, when it's positive or negative, it comes. So really give that some thought and be aware of your mindset. Know what your vision is. Give thanks. Have faith. Be thankful. And so I just want to show you, hopefully I can pull it up really quickly, the um, summary that we actually had. Let me see if I can pull this down a hair. And you can read it yourself. So let's see from my heart to yours, one of three choices. Your desire, your vision is already out there. So just be open to receiving it. Sometimes we're just not in the right place at the right time with the right mindset. So be open. Be expecting, be joyful. You know, one time a guy said, if we're not doing something, it's either because we don't want to or we're not joyfully expecting that thing to come to us. So see what you're thinking. And if it's not coming, if you're not starting to see some evidence of it, you know, maybe you have a business and you want to earn an extra $10,000 a month. Well, maybe you put it out there already. And maybe you're getting more phone calls than you used to. That's evidence that your desire was heard, it's being answered. So those little things, and this is how powerful the mind is. You probably bought a car at some point and you thought, I haven't even seen too many of these cars. And as soon as you go buy that car, as soon as you go test drive it, you see them everywhere. And that's a part of a system in our brain that it just goes to find whatever it is you're looking for. So if you can allow it to start working for you without resistance, you're going to be amazed. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye for now.